all rise for the Governor of the United States of Virgin Islands, Honorable Kenneth Mapp, and Lieutenant Governor Osbert E. Potter. Good morning. Please be seated. Good morning to the people of the Virgin Islands, the Lieutenant Governor, and I, as well as members of our cabinet, are here before you this morning to advise you that Tropical Storm Erica will arrive earlier than anticipated. The Tropical Storm, when it arrives in the U.S. Virgin Islands, is expected to bring winds of approximately 50 miles an hour and a good deal of rain. We're talking about four to five inches with St. Thomas, St. John being more in the northern quadrant of the storm. All of our preparations for Hurricane Danny, as we reported on Saturday, pretty much remains intact. Shelters will be open this evening, uh, and those persons who live in low-lying areas and flood-prone er flood areas, prone areas, should make uh, a decision to locate their families to the shelters, Guy Benjamin School in Coral Bay, Julia Sprouse School in Cruz Bay, the New Hansen uh, Complex, the Senior Citizen Center area on St. Thomas, and at the Herbert Grigg Home on St. Croix. Boaters have been putting their votes in safe havens, and the Department of Planning and Natural Resources are asking other boaters who need to protect their vessels, and we're suggesting that you do so, to contact 773-5774 on St. Croix or 244-9066, and on St. Thomas, 714-9510 or 643-6001. In our emergency operations briefing this morning, the National Weather Service advises that the people of the Virgin Islands can expect to experience the uh, winds and effect of Tropical Storm Erica as early as tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. The U.S. Coast Guard is not, uh, have not made a definitive decision, but ferry service between St. Thomas and St. John is expected to close this evening. We anticipate that will occur around midnight, but given the continued deterioration of our seas, that may happen earlier. So if you need to get from St. Thomas to St. John, or St. John to St. Thomas, we ask you to start making preparations for doing so. All Virgin Islands airports, except for uh, operations of emergency aircraft, uh, the, the Virgin Islands National Guard, U.S. military, and the Hurricane Hunters will be closed at 9 a.m. tomorrow. We anticipate those uh, airlines that are on the ground this evening for flights coming from Miami will be able to depart before the closure of the airport. Government workers are asked not to report to duty tomorrow. Of course, if you are an essential service government worker, a first responder, and you've already received your deployment orders, we expect you to adhere to that. The administrative staff of the government, uh, we're asking you not to report tomorrow, and we are encouraging private employers, for those who can let employees, who do not need essential employees to uh, come to work tomorrow, that they too advise their employees that they do, they do not need to report to work. We're going to begin to feel the winds and the rains around 8 o'clock, and as the day progresses, the conditions in the territory will continue to deteriorate, and this is a fast-moving storm, and so we expect the deterioration to be rapid. Uh, we do not want our folks to be harmed uh, or be in harm's way, and so we're not going to, we're asking you not to report uh, to work tomorrow, as well as the private sector. But your private sector employers will have to make that call in tandem with you. Uh, Commissioner Doty at the Department of Tourism have been speaking with our tourism partners uh, regarding the hotels and making sure that folks there as, are safe. 
The airlines will, call, will make the call on their flights. We do not know, as of this moment, whether we will reopen government and open the streets on Friday morning. We expect that that call will be made sometime late Thursday night or very early Thursday morning as we assess the conditions of our roads, as we measure the amount of rains we are receiving, and as we look, uh, more importantly, at what is happening at the Water and Power Authority regarding breaches of, of the different feeders. If the feeders are down and can't uh, be re-energized, that means there are things happening in the distribution system. We maybe have trees down, and, the, and therefore, we will not have folks uh, on, on the, the, the streets trying to get to work. So we'll ask you to listen out so we can tell you very early Friday morning whether government will reopen or it will not. So you'll have to stay tuned uh, for that. There is no anticipation at this moment of instituting a curfew. We do not plan at this time to, in, uh, to institute or to energize a curfew. No need for that. Uh, make the final preparations that you need to make. If you have uh, storm shutters on your homes, we are suggesting that you utilize them. Winds of 40, 50 miles an hour with gusts as high as 70 can uh, bring uh, flying debris and missiles, and you need to protect your properties. Put your vehicles in safe havens. If there is any remaining rem remnants of debris around your home that you wish to remove, those areas that the Waste Management Authority has advised you that are available for deposit will remain open until 5 p.m. today. I am suggesting, we're suggesting that you utilize them. The Department of Public Works has given, uh, issued more than 10,000 sandbags of sand and issued over or distributed more than 200 cubic yards of sand. You may, if you need to, still go to Public Works until mid-afternoon today uh, and, and at the sand uh, distribution areas and get whatever other sand or sand that you may need. We want to underscore that why we do not have a cat one, two, three, or four, five hurricane. Winds of 50 miles an hour with gusts up to 70. The storm coming through St. Thomas and St. Croix and the winds and the water that it brings, we are urging each and every Virgin Islander visitor to this territory to take this event seriously. I am convinced, as, as I stand here with the Lieutenant Governor, that all of our departments and agencies are ready. The National Guard of the Virgin Islands is prepared. Our partners at the Federal Emergency Management Agency the U.S. Coast Guard, the National Weather Service, we are all prepared to respond to wherever this event should lead us. But your personal protection is our highest priority. You lose no view in the public's eye or from your neighbors if you make a decision that you live in a flood-prone area or a low-lying area to go to a shelter this evening. Rescuers and responders will not be sent out at the height of the gale force winds or the torrent of water and rain to rescue folks. We cannot put their lives in danger. And so we're asking you to have a good conversation with your family and make an informed decision. Yes, being in the shelter this evening may be somewhat boring because you're not going to hear a whole lot of rain. But when that weather begins in the morning, you, have, you need to already be there and, um, with your family and to, be, excuse me, and to be in a safe haven. And we are encouraging you uh, to do that. Uh, we believe that given our history in the Virgin Islands with Hugo, with Marilyn, and all of the, the smaller events that we've had, um, we should uh, get through this event with flying colors. We are a people that are hurricane hardened and have uh, full experience and I think we are more prepared than we have ever been because of our continuing experience with these events. And so we ask you all to stay safe, 
stay dry as much as possible, and please make the appropriate decisions to protect your life, your family, your property, and your businesses. Uh, are there any questions? Barring none, the government of the Virgin Islands will continue to make press advisories to the community um, throughout this event. Government House uh, here in St. Croix and St. Thomas will be fully energized and operational. The emergency operation centers at the Virgin Islands Territorial Emergency Center or Agency will also be fully functional and as the need arises for further advisories or information to the community, we will provide it to you immediately. Make your final preparations and secure your family, your homes and your businesses. Thank you and good afternoon.